Chick-fil-A is a restaurant on a roll. Unprecedented growth, huge revenues, and all this despite the fact they're closed on Sundays. They sure are. And in On the Bench with Benson tonight, I meet a Bay Area man who's been there from the very beginning with insight on the quirks, the secrets, and the controversy around one of the hottest fast food chains going. Hey, Gus. Good morning, Gus. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Have a seat. How's it going? Good, thank you. So did you ever envision you would kind of dedicate your life around the chicken? I was attracted to Chick-fil-A because I was 15 years old and I wanted a job. My mom knew the local operator at the mall, so I started working for Doris Williams. So she opened the very first Chick-fil-A? The very first mall restaurant in 1967. So she knew what she was doing? She sure did. So tell us a little bit about what you do for Chick-fil-A. I'm a restaurant operator. I have two individual franchises in Pinellas County. Is Chick-fil-A uh, downright owning the fast food industry right now? Really unprecedented growth for our company. The cornerstones are just a great restaurant experience, great quality served by great people. So when people are wrapped around the building though, and, and you would think for somebody who hasn't been there, ah, I'm not gonna wait. Right. But you can get them through pretty quickly. Well, we do. And uh, you know, think about, uh, we're serving about 140 guests in the drive-through during one of our peak hours. That's a car at the window every 24 seconds. Medium fry okay for you today? I read a stat, you use more lemons than the country of Japan. Our freshly squeezed lemonade is one of our cornerstone menu items. But yeah. that takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. Every lemon is freshly squeezed in the restaurant. When I pull up, I see a really happy person, right. polite person. Right. They have the food ready. It's rarely wrong, if ever. We What's select, the secret there? We select enthusiastic people, people that love other people and serving guests. And we see some of the same faces literally three to five times a week sometimes. <laughs> The franchise, I heard, it, it's not that expensive, is that true? It's not that expensive. It's a franchise fee up front. It doesn't take a lot of working capital, but it does take active involvement in the business. But it's competitive. It's very competitive. Yeah. And sometimes it's harder to get into the CFA than into the CIA because of their selection standards. What has it done to allow you to tap into the community here? It's really given us a foundation where we are able to take good care of people in the community. We rallied 400 team members at the USF Sundome last fall, and we actually assembled 167,000 meals for feeding children everywhere. There has been a little controversy I wanted to ask you about, alleged funding for anti-LGBTQ uh, organizations. Uh, surely you must be asked about that. Uh, Josh, I would tell you that a simple question like you asked it deserves a simple answer, and that is we're a restaurant company focused on great food, served by great people in a warm and welcoming environment for everyone. That's my simple answer for you. What's the hardest part of running your franchises right now? Uh, the hardest part is, is keeping and retaining great people. Well, thanks so much for being with us, Scott. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Their system is perfected, though, because they, they literally drive so many people through the drive-thru, they, they can't mess up. I don't get You up. know what? I don't even do the drive-thru anymore because my daughter loves Chick-fil-A. We pull into one of the spots and, and somebody it's runs quicker. it right out yeah. to you. Yeah. It's amazing. It's an amazing system and, and Gus was a great, great guy. But if you know someone who has a great story and should be on the bench, drop me a line on Facebook at WFLA Josh or email me at jbenson at WFLA.com.